What's up, guys? We're Scott Morrow here at the Burke Dining Hall. We're gonna go get some food. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. What's your go-to here? What are you getting every day? Ah, uh, usually for lunch, the sandwiches are pretty good. That's probably my my go-to. Do you go here every day of the week? I'll go a couple times after practice. Usually for dinner, like two, three times a week. But I used to come here all the time when do I was. You guys eat at campus. the rink too? Like, do you have meals right at the rink? Yeah. So like Monday, Monday, Wednesday, usually we have meals at the rink, like from the dining hall, catered. Mm -hmm. And then Thursday nights, we'll always do something like obviously on the road, eat out, or if we're at home, we'll usually go to a. Italian place in town, so. What about other spots for food here? Like any big restaurants? This place, Mission Cantina, is popular with the boys. We got we got some guys who enjoy some Texas Roadhouse. We always do Chipper Tuesdays, the whole, Chipper Tuesday, all, the whole team. The whole team, pretty much, so. Does anyone Every, have a Chipper deal on the team? You going No, for one? <laughs> uh, we bread with uh, turkey, lettuce, tomato, bole mayo. This is one of four dining halls, so there's like two what? right here. This is like where a lot of the students on campus live. And then there's two like more on the north side of campus, like near where a lot of the freshmen and sophomores on the team lift. This is probably our favorite, like the one the guys come to the yeah, most. Yeah. So. Oh God, this looks good. Yeah, they're pretty gas. Can you go up there as many times as you want? Yeah, but at, at night they turn it into sushi, which is pretty popular oh, too. God. How many plates are you going like per meal, do you think? Who eats the most, I should ask? Oh, I eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> is hockey the biggest sport on campus, would you say? By far. Mm. I'm sure the national championship helped a lot too, though, just building the, yeah. Oh yeah, but even before that, like. Yeah, it's still a great hockey school. Yeah, when yeah. Kale was here, I think that attendance <laughs> really shot up. Everybody over here on the wall. Um, we no got, muzzies, is there a clean shave rule? Or yeah, what? for the, for the team picks. Okay, uh, okay. Only. Got the Del Gaizo goal on the Frozen Four. Yeah, I remember that. that. It looks like they're able to get more guys out. Watch out! This is the athletic training room. We got a uh, hot tub, cold tub. This is Mark, our athletic trainer. How are we doing? Working on Alfie right now. <laughs> we got the Powerade station over there. That's pretty popular with the boys. Try to spend not too much time in here, but. Who uses I'll, the hot tub the most on the team? The hot tub? Yeah. Oof, there's a lot of guys. The hot tub's pretty popular. Yeah. It's like, a, it's almost a race after practice. What about the cold tub? I'm sure not everyone. Uh, I cold tub before games. Yeah. And then we'll probably have two, three guys a day using okay. it, but not too many. We got the coach's room on the right that's getting renovated. And then on the left is the video room. We got uh, the nice chairs in here. We all, every row's got their own handshake um, that we do every day. So I'm in, the, I'm in the back row. Yeah, we always keep the same seats for all four years too. I've been in the same seat, I'm back middle. Right in the, right in the middle. Right under the, the CK in hockey. Right that's, that's, so yeah, down here we got the two hockey's championships. So we got some pictures on the wall. I was part of the 2022 championship when I was a freshman. That was when we won in overtime against UConn at the Garden. As well, puck loose, it comes back. Bollinger fires, he shoots, he scores! Deflected on the way! But UMass does it again! Back to back hockey's champions! Pretty crazy, pretty special. I think it was like 13, 14,000 fans, so. Yeah. It was pretty awesome, especially winning in overtime. Shout out Gods right here. We yeah. had a fun night with him after the championship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some guys on the wall, some former players over here. We got the old jerseys. I, this one, I, th I wish we had a retro of this one because I think Dude. it's nasty. But I don't, know if, bring this I don't know if you're allowed to throw the rifle out these days, ah, but uh, I wish. So we got we got all the sticks here. Don't have too many superstitious guys with their no. sticks. What do you use for your stick specs? Um, 85 flex. I got the, the new jet speed ones. I think a P90 curve. Yeah, so. How many twigs do you go through a year? Season? A lot, actually. Yeah. I should probably. Can break them or it looks like they do Yeah, so I, I break a lot. I don't know. I've been breaking a ton this year, but I don't really want to go to. Bombs? Yeah, so I get a lot of weight into my clap bombs, but uh, my wrist shot, like I, I really use my like wrist, so mm -hmm. I, I want it to be light, but the clap yeah. bombs get them pretty often. So yeah. I've actually probably gone through more than like anybody on the team. <laughs> this is the room. We got all the D pretty much on this end, the goalies over here. Damn. The, yeah, so 
We got all the vents in the stalls to uh, dry out the gear pretty quickly. We got the Massachusetts branding everywhere. I've been in the same stall for all three years I've been here. Some guys get moved around a little bit. We got the cabinet up there. It's got all our tape and wax and okay. stuff in there. Yeah, we're very lucky to have this. I like um, the oval setup kind of. Everyone yeah, each other. no, it's, it's yeah. Time. This is nice for the most NHL rooms. This is. Oh yeah, yeah we'll got the do. trash cans, that's, that's what these holes are. And what? Yeah, so we got the little trash dispensers <laughs> in our stall and guys keep their, their that's personal, how you keep the room their clean tape right and their there, wax right? and skate guards in here. Obviously all the extra stuff is underneath and yeah. Where's your stall? Where we I'm right, right here. here. I've always been right here. Ofco is in my class, so we've always been yep. these two. Bollinger, he's been here my whole time here. He's always been there. But yeah, I love where I sit. How do you uh, like using CCM? I've seen you got the skates there. Yeah, I've used it my whole life because okay. my, my uncle works for CCM. There so you go. He's always uh, been a good plug with all the gear and stuff. Very fortunate growing up that he was able to help me out. Yeah, yeah. this is definitely the loudest quarter with uh, Taylor and Van Tassel. Those two guys are <laughs> usually into it. Uh, oh. We got the lounge over here. Recovery chairs over here. Oh, yeah, the, ping, well, the ping pong table, which is uh, pretty competitive, especially in the summer when we got a lot of free time. And yeah. I'm sure during the winter semester, it'll get back going again, but. <laughs> Who's we, the best on the team? One of these guys? You think? <laughs> yeah, you just I don't know. It. It's Kenny Connors, but this is the lounge area over here. Uh, we got some tables on both sides, and then the nice chairs in the middle. Eat a lot of meals here. Sometimes breakfast, like in between games, and then uh, dinner, probably three nights a week here. So sure. yeah, Doing homework here too. Yeah, so, guys yeah. will do homework here. Yeah. This um, is nice. Yeah, it's super nice. So guys spend a lot of time at the rink, and then we got the kitchen area over here. Got the fridge with the yogurt, sauces, everything we might need. Microwave. Got the the washing machine, coffee stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. We have everything we need from like a pregame and game nutrition standpoint. Like we'll get a little cart going that goes in the middle of the room, so right in between sure. periods and after warm up, guys can get fuel. On a game day, obviously you guys got morning skating and stuff, but are you at the rink pretty much the whole day? You go home for a nap or what? No, so game? morning skates, we do it at 10.20 yeah. and it's very quick. Usually guys will just like take one timers or yeah. something or just get right <laughs> off after. I actually have class on Friday, so I got to hustle okay. and go to class right after our morning skate. But then <laughs> after that, a lot of guys will go to the D-Hall, yeah. uh, get a meal in like around 12.30, 1. I'm going to go home and get a nap and I get here pretty early. I, I, I like to play like a good 45 minutes of sewer before the game. <laughs> <laughs> that's a so, lot, dude. Yeah, so that's honestly my favorite part of the week is just playing sewer <laughs> before the game. But it's our equipment room right here, just where we go to get all our sticks and stuff. You guys got the bolts, huh? Yeah, we got the sticks on the left here. Oh, the boys are getting loose. Yeah. So yeah, we got sheets every day. It's different, like what we're doing for warm up and stuff. So who's coming so, yeah. up the most in the weight room here, though? Squatting, uh, squatting, Mercury, and Don't look at Mercury and McDermott. This guy's a beast. He's, um, he's just doing two plates on the chin up the other day. <laughs> so squatting, I don't know. We're doing single leg squats right now and he's just smoking everybody. But I think I got everybody on bench press, I'll say that. Oh, you got it? There you go. Drum gun? That's dangerous and no build, eh? What do we want for tune? Did you? You're playing solos on a Friday morning? <laughs> Who do you think is up there for no build? <laughs> Kneeler. <laughs> you might be up there. If you get me an, a hand cannon or an RPG, I'm elite. Guy gets one game winning assist and he, he's out. Is this a banger, Dermy? This is actually your song, eh? How bad your voice would sound on high who? Me? Yeah. I know, I gotta stop myself from singing. Is there goalie ding today or just skills? I'd love to get in on that, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Yeah, Scott, you can do skills. I know. How is the shoulder? Uh, it's all right, you know, it's a shoulder. Herbie, you wanna get sniped today or what? Of course, I promise I'm not waiting for you. Yeah, you promise. <laughs> you forgot your backup, but it was in your hand? Yeah. Hey, Tash just wants some screen time. Yeah, Tash does need screen time. Off, can I get PPOD so I can give like a six speech? Well, I'll make mic. Hey, you got to earn the mic? I do have to earn it. I also have a mic they gave me one for charity. Yeah, Tass has one too. You do not have a mic. I do. Oh, wow. It's all, it's down here though. No, yeah. I do. Why'd I have a song?
When I started balling, I was young. I'm gonna double pocket. I want one of you guys to do some token pressure. Okay. Okay. One guy up at the front. Okay. All right. Good boys, eh? Hey! Hey! Jump it out of the way. Good play. Wrapping up practice today. Scotty, how was it out there? It was fun. It was good to get out there. Um, day after a game, not too not too stressful, but um, good to get a sweat. Yeah, you guys got a road win last night. Tomorrow, you're, you're back here. Yep. Uh, what's the season been going like so far? What's the focus for tomorrow and moving forward here? Yeah, we've had a lot of success so yeah. far. Um, I think we're pretty happy where we're at, but we're going to keep growing our identity, keep being physical and fast out there. And uh, it's been a lot of fun so far, and we're just looking to keep building. Obviously, you know, your goal is to probably end up in St. Paul, go to the Frozen Four this season. Oh, yeah. Um, but do you have any personal goals as, as you go along the season for yourself, or is it just, you know, all team stuff? Um, I haven't thought about that too much. I mean, yeah. mostly just focusing on the areas of my game that I want to grow, like uh, continuing to make the right plays with the puck and uh, be harder to play against and uh, be in guys' faces defensively. So I'm kind of focused on the short-term stuff, and I'll let all the big-picture stuff take care of itself. What, what brought you here to UMass? What was the biggest... So. Obviously the facilities and stuff are cool, and yeah. um, but there's been a lot of great defensemen who came before me, and, and Carby really knows how to coach defensemen, and I wanted to go to a place where I'd develop, so that was probably the biggest thing, and um, it's a great environment playing here at the Mullen Center, and it's close to home in Hockey East, so a lot of good things going for it, and very happy I ended up here. It's the best conference in college hockey? Oh yeah. 100%? 100%. 100%. That's a wrap for the Day in the Life episode 2 with Scott Morrow.